Let's take a look at our agenda for today. So firstly, we'll look at some best practices to follow when reading the reports in our analytics accounts. Then I'll take you through three AdWords reports which are available in the account. So firstly, we'll look at the Keywords report. Then I'll take you through the AdWords campaigns report. And finally, the Keywords position report. So let's take a look at some quick techniques on how you can manipulate the AdWords reports within your analytics accounts and then look at the actions which you can take from them. Before we delve into the AdWords reports, there are a few best practice guidelines that we should cover. So firstly, it's important to ensure that your AdWords and your analytics accounts are linked. This will ensure that you're getting accurate data through from your AdWords account. Secondly, you should ensure that you have goals set up in your account and, if appropriate, e-commerce tracking set up. This will ensure that you have a metric to measure the success of your online advertising. And finally, as a rule of thumb, focus on data sets within the hundreds so as to dilute any anomalies. The next few slides will focus on your paid keywords. So these are the keywords present in your AdWords account. We'll then offer some suggestions on actions to take from the resulting data. So here's a view of the Keywords report within your Analytics account. You can access this report by clicking on the Keywords link under the Traffic Sources heading on the left-hand side of your Analytics account. So it's worth noting that this is where you'll find all of the reports that we're going to be examining today. Firstly, please note that we're looking at an account here that has e-commerce tracking installed. When you access the Keywords report, be sure to click on the Compare to Average view, which you can see on the right-hand side of the screen. This view type offers a visual indication of your keywords performance with green being good and red being bad. Next we click on the non-paid link so as to isolate keywords that are not coming from Google AdWords. So as such we are looking at visits from the natural search results. Finally we shall compare visits on the left to per visit value on the right hand side. Looking at this report, we can see that several keywords with a few hundred visits are green, indicating that these keywords had an above average per visit value. From the previous report, you should now have a clear idea of the keywords which are generating a lot of revenue from the natural results. As such, we now go back to the AdWords account, where you could consider doubling your visibility by increasing your bidding. This will ensure that these keywords appear in a high position alongside your natural result. Remember that you now know how much revenue per click you're getting, so I would advise you to bid wisely here. Our next technique focuses on the AdWords campaigns report and looks closely at the different ads that are within each campaign. An ad might have a high CTR, but you need to ask yourself whether or not you are getting a return from it. So we're now looking at the AdWords campaigns report, which again is under the traffic sources heading in your analytics account. The first thing we need to do is segment by ad content, which you'll see on the left hand side of the screen. So you can select ad content from this drop down menu. This allows us to then compare the different ads against campaigns. So in this example, we can see that two of our ads have a high bounce rate. So one has a bounce rate of 84.94% and the other 87.07%. So this is an indication that the landing page needs to be looked at. We now switch over to the clicks tab on the right hand side. And while we can see that despite the high bounce rates, which were visible in the previous slide, one of the campaigns actually does have a high ROI, whilst the other is clearly not generating any return. So we now go back to the AdWords interface in order to review the poorly performing ad text. The first action to improve a poorly performing ad is to put yourself in the customer's shoes and look at the current landing page. In this case, it's the home page of the Google Store. You need to ask whether or not it's possible to link further into the site to possibly a product page or alternatively decide whether or not the ad text should be revised. Another possible action would be to adjust your budgets. If the ads are in different campaigns, take budget from the poorly performing campaign and place it in the better performing one. However, the poorly performing one might still be doing well for branding purposes or perhaps customers use it first and buy with the other later. So it is important to consider customer actions before removing its budget completely. 
Finally, if both the ads are in the same campaign, you can turn on the option to use your conversion tracking data and bids to optimise for conversions. However, you will need to import your goals into AdWords from Analytics first so that you have conversions on which to base these optimizations. It's also worth noting that this option can still apply to ads which are in different campaigns. Our final optimization suggestions focus around the Keyword Positions Report. So this is the Keyword Positions Report. Again, this is available in your analytics account under the Traffic Sources heading. However, you will find this report under the AdWords subheading. So this report shows you visually where each of your ads show and overlays in each position different metrics. So in this case, we're comparing visits on the left against bounce rate on the right. So to do this, we've selected bounce rate from the drop-down menu on the right-hand side. It's worth remembering that we're focusing only on keywords with a lot of traffic here. So in our example, we've taken the keyword Google Store, and we can see that the lowest bounce rate is when the ad is in position two or three. So when the ad appears in position two, it has a bounce rate of 33.33%, while it has a 0% bounce rate when it appears in position three. Focusing on these two positions, which are the best two positions, we switch in the drop-down menu from bounce rate to visits. And this is to ensure that there is a statistically valid number of visits there. So if this is the case, if there is a statistically valid number of visits, we again switch in the drop-down menu and look at the goal conversion rate or revenue per click. If this figure is again favorable, you can return to your AdWords account and begin optimizing. We now return to the AdWords interface and based on the indication that we saw in the previous slide, that when our keyword shows in positions two and three, we get the greatest return on our investment, it would make sense to capitalize on this. By turning on position preference within your campaign settings, you are now able to limit the positions for which your keyword will show your ad. The idea behind this is that if you have a limited budget, you should spend it on times when you get the greatest return.